friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new this is the only nail prep video you need because this method works for poly gel and acrylic nails so let's just get straight into the video step one is push back your cuticles but first if you notice that a layer of wax has formed around your cuticles you do need to use a cuticle fork to scoop it all up and get rid of it doing this before pushing your cuticles back helps prevent it from lifting and stops your nails from looking old really quick Now you have clean cuticles, take the cuticle pusher and push as far back as you can. Step 2 is use hand file or e-file to remove shine and oil from your natural nail as well as clean around your cuticle. Now I know everyone isn't comfortable or experienced using an e-file on their natural nail so I don't recommend it especially for beginners. What I do recommend is you use a hand file like I do for this stage in your nail prep. I actually unboxed and reviewed this e-file in a previous video, I'll have it linked in the cards above. Now if you're using the e-file, use it on the lowest speed or if you're fancy and yours shows the speed, I recommend 5000 RPM because this is your natural nails we're talking about. This isn't acrylic, this isn't poly gel and we don't want damage. Now if you're using tips especially, do this as gently as you can because we are going to go in again when we're filing and shaping and also blending the tips in with our natural nail. Now my preferred method is a hand file and I recommend you use 120-180 grit or 100 and 180 grit like I've got here. And remember, the higher the number, the smoother and finer the coarseness of the file and the lower the number, the coarser the file. You don't want to be using 80-80 or 80-100 grit on your natural nail. We use that to shape acrylic and poly gel. Now just for an example, I've, I've got this file that's 600-3000 grit and I just want you to see how smooth it is compared to my 100-180 grit file. It's as smooth as a buffer. So don't forget, the higher the number, the smoother it is. The lower the number, the coarser it is. This method also works with nail forms and if you're using them, you only need to file your nails once. Select the perfect tip size for each finger, making sure they fit side wall to side wall, and then stick them on with your favorite glue. Now the tips are stuck on, get a nail trimmer and trim your tips down to the desired length. Now if you're a beginner or well whatever your skill level and you're just not confident in your trimming abilities, my personal advice would be 
to leave a little extra length because you can always take away length but you can't add it back well unless you add another tip on or stick a whole new tip on and who wants to do that not me or you might even need to file all the rest of the nails down to that length the shortest length and that's just extra work so just leave a little extra room which you can take down when you're shaping and filing your nails then get a straight edged nail clipper and trim down the side of the nail to reduce the filing time if you want to get like a different shape like coffin ballerina tapered square oval whatever the shape now i use the shortcut which is coffin shaped tips I got them on Amazon and if shaping is not your strongest point, you can always get any shape of tips from either Amazon or your local nail supply store and I love it. I love the shortcut because if you can get there quicker, why not? Plus, time is money so don't waste your time, just get whatever makes it easier for you. Now, once you've clipped the sides in, take your nail file to shape the nail and blend the tip in with your natural nail. Finally, you can apply your primer all over your natural nail to remove any last bit of shine. But if you don't have any primer, like me, you can just use rubbing alcohol, which is what I use to dry out my nail. So this is the ultimate fail-proof method to make your nails last. Trust me. Just try it out for yourself and let me know how well it works for you. And thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. Just hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!